Hey guys, all right. Yeah, I haven't done a video in a long, long time. Um, I have several jewelry unboxings to upload. Backlog of those, so <laughs> be on the lookout for those. But for today, we have a thrift haul. And I do have some jewelry mixed in because, you know, I wouldn't be bling at anything without jewelry. All right, let's start with clothing. Clothing is something I've purchased almost since I started this you know drive to be full-time actually since before then but um this first item was a true right place right time it was bag sale thrift store I go to does them every Thursday and Saturday so this item costs less than a dollar 25 gorgeous piece it is LL Bean um, the size extra large, just an absolutely gorgeous cable knit sweater, pullover with a hood. Yeah. That was a good find. I mean, a really good find. Now with bag sales, I try to branch out a little bit and just try different things. Um, this was Maggie Sweet, but I just really liked the feel of it. I liked the... Obviously, the colors, it's really pretty. Um, unfortunately, that brand doesn't seem to do very well, so I may not do well on that one. <laughs> and I may not do well on this one, but I love the colors. Um, it's very retro, feels kind of like Saved by the Bell Tom. This is Mischievous. Fortunately, again, this is a brand that isn't that great. It says Love, it's got these short sleeves that have the lace detail um this one is a 1x so and also it's got the little pocket in the front really cute for working out in so maybe i'll ham up the keywords a bit you know work out say my bell things like that um i've always heard good things about um, Pearl Snap shirts. This one is Plains Western Wear XXLT. So it was a good size. It was the Pearl Snap. Um, and again, it was part of the bag sale. So less than $1.25. This was fantastic. It was $2 at another thrift store. This is C. Joseph, New York. And it is a gorgeous men's button up top it's kind of like a shacket <laughs> um it is made in the usa dry clean only and it is 90 percent wool and 10 percent cashmere so it's just a gorgeous piece. Did I say what the size was? It is size small, so that's gonna it's gonna hold it back a little bit, but it's a well-made piece. This is a thrift store where um sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> the proceeds go to help um healthcare in the area. So, the doctors and nurses in the area donate their stuff there, and the prices are incredible. Like $1 for short sleeves, $2 for long sleeves. Yeah. All right, this was a $2 tee at a different thrift store. This is Fanatics, 3X, Liberty. So, grab that. No, that, I don't know where I got that, actually. Okay, my local Salvation Army has decided that they're going to stop doing individually priced items on clothing and just do, like, flat rate prices, which is great. Um, but anything that was still green tagged was um, half off. So these were half off of five ninety nine, so three bucks. Um, these are Liz Claiborne. 
18 wide classic trouser slimming through thigh or hip and thigh tummy control sits at waist they were originally $54 so I couldn't leave them for $3 I mean that's fantastic they are I think they're partially linen Anyway, it was a good deal. Very long. I'm very short. <laughs> okay, this was super cute. This was a dollar. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. Um, definitely vintage. This is an 18 slash 20. Super cute little denim. Best. This is poo. This little poo tag there on the pocket. Love this. So fun. Another fun piece. This one I paid two dollars for, maybe three dollars. I'm not sure. Um, this is Lady Lavon track jacket. Who remembers back in the 80s? That's what we all sounded like. <laughs> this is super cute. It's a good size too. It's a 1X by Cheerful Corp. So I, I couldn't leave that. Vintage clothing can do really well. This was $2. Hellfire Club. Stranger Things. Um... 2x it's a good size for sure so maybe that'll help this was two dollars I did not notice that Braves but on the back it says Eastgate Pharmacy <laughs> why does it say Eastgate Pharmacy that was not a good buy this was not a good buy either. I was thinking for some reason I was thinking this was vintage. It's Vanity Fair. But it's not. It's just a little silky pajama top. But I'm pretty sure it is not old. So. Yeah. I'm still fair. You know, I'm still learning when it comes to clothes. Um, this was another one I just took a chance on because I recognized the name. I like the pattern or print as well. This is Perry Ellis. It's a size extra large. 100% cotton. Perry Ellis. I like the print. I think this one was, this one would have been $1.50. So, I said I'm okay with trying different things when I can get it really cheap. This is Pier 1 Import. Cute little dog. I meant to get this listed, but I did not. It's embroidered. Um, it's $2, so I didn't think that was bad. I'll have to hold on to it till next year, but that's okay. I always, always, always pick up embroidered so okay well I can't say always because there were a few others but they had names on them they were really weird names names are hard enough personalized ornaments or stockings but when it's what's a weird name <laughs> this one it says mom and I know people price theirs for like god I've seen people price them for like five dollars it's just like what are you doing stop I sell them for thirty so, and I usually sell them very, very quickly. Love the colors. <laughs> Love the colors on this throw blanket. Gideon's messing where he shouldn't be messing. <laughs> All right, this one is, it says, let's see if I can get it to where it'll show. It says airy across the side of it. 
It was two dollars. I'm trying to find a tag. I think it's like American Eagle. Pretty sure that's what it is. Thought this was cute. This is by Mainly USA, dry clean only. Um, it's called a Bell Pool. But it was 99 cents. And really pretty bunnies, and it goes down to that. So I thought that'd be fun for the spring. It's got butterflies on it. It's very well made. I got some really cute little napkins that have little fishies on them. Love that. They're not embroidered. It's kind of like they put another piece of fabric and then sew it around the edges. But there's four of them no five of them let's see one okay there's five of them it's kind of weird there's only five tablecloth really pretty yellow it does have this is some staining that i'll try to get out um but it's embroidered with little people well there's a little dog on there too that's really gonna help cute little dog and little woman um it's really pretty this is a gorgeous tablecloth i think it was two dollars there's the center Hopefully y'all can see that. So, yeah, it does have, like I said, it has some staining, but I think it's a gorgeous piece. And for $2, I don't think I can go wrong. Um, new, fairly new to doing vintage linen, linens. I just do what I think looks interesting. Oh, and by the way, if you want anything from this haul, you can email me at blingadingding01 at gmail.com. All right, got, got some um, pillowcases. Now, I mean, I'm not only do I love the, the colors, but I looked up this brand really quick. It's Wamsuda. And... pretty happy with what I saw on this brand so there are four of them so I would have paid two dollars for those oh a shirt fell on the floor I will try selling this if it turns out it's you know worth selling if not I'll keep it it's Worthington 1x Really pretty, stretchy. Nice little print. Got that. Another thing that I did not get sold in time. This was, excuse me, 49 cents. And there are lots of fall pieces. There's this, which I'm assuming goes to something else. Um, some leaves. Paper leaves. More paper leaves. Another paper leaf. Ooh. The piece to the resistance. We have a turkey. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Where's his head? There's part of him. Let's hope your head's in here, dude. There's a wing. Oh, we got a... 
in Taiwan and scan. We have a whole bunch of we have one, two, three, four, five of these little honeycomb turkeys. And here's the dude's head for the big one. And here's his other wing. There's another leaf. Oh my goodness. I wish I got this posted in time. If anybody wants a honeycomb turkey, let me know. Also, let me know, would you sell those individually or would you put them all in together? I what? I mean, if somebody was doing like decorating like several tables, you know, I guess that'd be nice, but I don't know. The paper leaves I'll probably just craft with. But Thigh Master, believe it or not, they still sell. This was a dollar. I'm gonna need to take some uh, magic eraser. It's got a little bit of dirt on it. This is the Thigh Master Gold. Um Right now they're selling about $20, $25. I'm probably going to list mine a little higher because the new year's coming. I'm fine with sitting on it. And then people, you know, I don't want to work off all that Christmas ham and mashed potatoes. So, got that. Super, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this has got to be Home Co. Pretty sure that's Home Co. Super cute little kitty in a boot. I know it would have come with like two other pieces, but... Um, get him licking his feet. I'm sorry if you hear that. Um, Christmas 2006. This is Jim Shore. So I don't know if that'll do good being. Would you quit? <laughs> being um, 2006 dated, but who knows? Love this piece. It is 3D. It is signed, um, Molecraft, Knoxville, Tennessee, 71. And it was 99 cents. Or maybe it's Matt Craft. It looks like it's signed Matt on the front. So, anyway, I thought it was super cute. We all know mushrooms are big right now. I got this. This is just the layout. It's called Tripoli or Tripoli. Tripoli? I don't know. The original game of Michigan Rummy Hearts and Poker. And like I said, it just comes with the layout only. This was, I think, a dollar or two dollars. 1969, made in the USA, Chicago, Illinois. So, it's just this big map there in the middle. Really cute owl pictures. Oh my goodness, I could not leave these. We're 99 cents. This one is signed. Robert, something another. <laughs> cute little owl, matted and framed. Looks really nice. If these don't sell, I don't mind keeping them. That's how I buy art. It's like, well, if I'm stuck with it, that's fine. And then this guy, oh my god, he's so cute. This was something another art. Laser Studio Art. West Palm Beach, Florida. I don't know, but he's super cute. He was 99 cents as well. I'll probably lock those together unless I'll look up that artist and he's somebody worth selling on his own these i just you know saw them and i'm like that's interesting i need to see what that is there's an orange one and the yellow one these were two dollars each um umab.com made in the usa um sorry i keep saying it um these are boards for like martial arts I guess it'd be about martial arts that you break you can break repeatedly and the different colors oh it says right here the ultimate martial arts board um the user of this product ascends all risk of injury <laughs> look you hurt your little hand it's your own fault 
um, different colors or different, um, like it says, orange, seven inch, yellow is five inch. So I don't know what that means, but these are worth good money. Like $30 for the two of them, or maybe it was $30 each. I can't remember now. I looked them up a long time ago. But <laughs> These, they charged a dollar a piece, I think it was. And this one says, start each day in a happy way. Super cute. It's like this molded, I don't know if it's plastic or, or what it is. That's what it looks like on the back. This one says, see each day as a new beginning. Oh my God, the little rabbit. So cute. I don't think these are actually worth much, but they're absolutely adorable. They got those 70s vibes. And somebody will love them. Um, got some trash-tastic plastic. Fruit. This was their... It's one of those things that I didn't get, and then I went back, and it was still there. <laughs> um, I think they charged me 50 cents. But there's, like, lemons and oranges and walnuts and John Norma's strawberry, some little strawberries, peanuts. It's kind of weird. Like, why is there peanuts in with the, I don't know. I don't even know if it's worth anything. I was just like, I'm going to get this. It's kitschy. It's, you know. I'm all about the mid-century stuff. I don't even know if it's, I don't know how old it is. Loved this. It was $3.99, so I paid up for it a bit, but it's so pretty. It's cloisonne, little bird, little leaf. And I saw this little mark. It took, took me a while to find this, but it's got a little heart. And I looked up and that was like NYCO. Um, I can't remember the artist, but. It's so pretty. I may hold on to this till next fall. I don't know. It's, just, it's gorgeous. And I may end up having to keep it. Probably fine with that too. Um, I think I just picked up two books. Um, the Men's Study Bible. It's not actually worth anything. Some Bibles can be worth really good money. And you know, people won't be like, against selling Bibles. I'm not. I'm a Christian, but do you want them in the landfill or do you want them in somebody's hands? I don't want them in the landfill. All right, this, I really thought, you know, some horse lover might love this. It's the Manual of Horsemanship of the British Horse Society and the Pony Club. Um, This one is 1976. It does have some images of horses and horse gear, I guess. <laughs> trying to find, oops, trying to find a good horse picture. So I thought, you know, somebody again, somebody might want it. It was a dollar. Little wallet by Errol Puffle. I love wallets, purses. You know, if they're cute, I can't hardly pass them up. It is missing its little, it would have a little strap. It was a dollar. It doesn't look like it was really used. Super cute. Love Tada. This, I think, is a cutting board. It was a dollar. Still new in this box. And this is the Pittsburgh Penguins. I don't know, I don't know who the Pittsburgh Penguins are, but I was like, you know, for a dollar, I'll take it. It does have the official NHL logo. You know, 
I've heard other resellers say this, you p always pay for your education, whether it's school, which I've done, <laughs> or, you know, just learning, you know, just by getting out there and checking stuff out, getting it. And, you know, when it's that cheap, you know, you don't always have to waste your time with looking it up. Just grab it and go. Because you may be missing other stuff down the way. Super cute little picture frame. It's on this little rocking piece. It was 49 cents. Little dog. You can slide the photo in the top. Somebody's going to want that. Who doesn't love doggies? This was a bad buy. Little hand carved duck bookend. It was a dollar. <laughs> yeah. This, I have no idea. I can't find anything like it. It was made in Portugal. It's $3. People love lemons. It looks like a really nice vase. Um, has raised painting or outlines. I don't know. I didn't think it was bad. Something told me, you know, to get it. I don't know. Little Dale Earnhardt beanie car. This was 99 cents. I was a huge Dale Earnhardt fan. I was devastated when he got killed. And I know there are still a lot of fans out there. This ended up not being worth anything. It was only 49 cents though, so it's okay. Um, Jack Daniels, Gentleman Jack, and it's got different recipes on there. Uh, Gentleman's Sour, Gentleman's Manhattan, it's got the measurements. Gentleman's Smash, a little shaker. Again, if you're seeing anything you like, you can buy it from me directly and save because I don't have to pay fees. I looked these up quickly at the store. They just feel old. You know, when you handle a bunch of stuff, you begin to just, I don't know. They are, they have an FP on the bottom. I'm not sure what that is, but just from a quick Google search, people were asking some serious money for these. I don't know. I don't know. They were a dollar piece. I was like, I'll take a chance. There's only two of them. I can't pass up handmade items. You know, well, I can if they're really ugly, poorly done. <laughs> but, um, I think this has been something local. I live about, this is says Mandan. Cherokee Reservation is centrally located in this area that I'm in. So, this had the feel of the Cherokee, but I don't know. Just this little painted stone. Again, it was 49 cents. I'll do some research. Okay, I had, I used to collect brown drip. I still have all my brown drip. The reason I got into collecting it, in case you care, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> Is I remember eating out of brown drip when I was a kid, the bowls, the soup bowls that had handles, which I actually don't have in my collection. Yeah. But I saw this and I was like, oh my god, I've never seen a brown drip canoe. And it was 99 cents. Of course, I got home and I realized it says um, Ocean Drive Beach, South Carolina. That was a bummer. And it's like, wonder if I can take acetone and get that off without it ruining the rest of the piece. If not, it is super cute. I've got like a little raccoon and a little bear that I might make an assemblage in there. I don't know. This is by Connoisseur. I don't even know that name, but it was a dollar. People love cats. Big cat picture frame. It did have something up here at some point. So, I don't know. They put it into a cat sale on whatnot. I don't know. Another handmade piece. This one was 99 cents. 
It was made in 92. 21 years ago. MCB. Cute little wood carved Santa. I mean, he's adorable. And he's holding a little lantern. Yeah. If he does a sale, I'll keep him. I collect Santas. Okay, these were 49 cents a piece. And these are Monster High little text messenger things. Um, I did a quick look up. And for 49 cents, I'm not going to lose money. That's for certainly for sure. I'll need to change the batteries out. Let's see if there's a way to reset them. They do turn on and everything. Um, but yeah. Kraken Black Spiced Rum Plastic Cups. These were a dollar a piece. A little tiki. They are, I think I said that, they're plastic. Um, one of these sold for $16.99. Two sold for less than that. I'm going to follow the listing that sold one and just hope, you know, it does well sell two, you know, as a multiple quantity listing but yeah they're really cool like <laughs> I love the look of them this I'm so tempted to keep it's adorable it's a planter it was two dollars cool dog is he not adorable oh my goodness and he's in excellent condition I didn't see any chips cracks can actually put jewelry in there and put like, like the rings on his tail. He's adorable. Actually, okay, you could, I don't know what you'd put in this side, but this side has a hole. So, ooh, you know what? If you wanted, you could turn this into a charging station. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, $2. All right. Always, 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 you're going to want to check how much something is if you buy all of them. They were marked two for a dollar. I asked how much they were. They said eight. If you don't know, Tupperware magnets sell good. And large lots of them sell even better. Okay, you may be able to make more money if you pieced them out and sell them individually, but it's going to take a lot more time. Also, I got this awesome jar that I'm going to make into a junk jar. Yeah. That was such a good buy. I need to get those listed. Are you familiar with these? You should be. These are Yankee Candle candle toppers to turn your candle into like a little lamp. This one was two dollars. Should sell for around thirty. I need to get it listed because it's Christmassy. <laughs> um oh vase. I paid up for this or not a vase. Pitcher. I think it's a pitcher. It's five dollars. It's called the Gurgle Pot 2006. It is dishwasher safe. No chippies. I love fish, so it's a beautiful navy cobalt color. Gurgle pot. Yeah. It's a good buy. I think probably sell for 20 Maybe a little better. Alright. Got this little, super cute little handmade little box. It's got little bells on it. And um, little Christmassy cats. It was one ninety nine on the outside, but on the inside, it was marked ninety nine cents. So they gave it to me for ninety nine cents. And I forgot about this little guy. He's so cute. He's a itty bitty critters. I'm pretty sure he's a German Shepherd. He looks like he's supposed to be a German Shepherd. It's by um, Unit Design. Nineteen ninety seven. He was a dollar. He's ready to go for his walkie. He's so cute. Okay. 
We have some jewelry. We have a Christmas tree again. Oh, I love that it has a little peppermint on top. It's got enameling, rhinestones. Super cute. And we got this other Christmas tree. cute as well. People love Christmas tree brooches. It is not signed. Then I got these earrings that are signed, but I could not make out who they are signed by. It looks like it says F. Maybe it says E P E A R. <laughs> Idiot. I'm pretty. No. Yeah. So Perry? E. Perry? I don't know. I'll have to look them up. Those nice clip earrings. Really good condition. So, we'll see what those are worth. This little vintage Christmas set in the box for a dollar. And then I dropped it earlier. And saw that there were, there is another set of the earrings in there. So that was interesting. But I was looking really close at the clasp. It's a really nice chain. I think that's called diamond cut chain or something like that. Um, but yeah, for a dollar, that was a fantastic buy. Uh, people love their vintage Christmas and they love their vintage jewelry. All right, we have a few more earrings and then we are done. All right. These were Monet. white cabochon gold tone excellent condition well, I think they charge like 50 cents a pair for these um these I don't think are marked why did I get these I think these are Avon little shells and they are the clip and screw variety and then these, I was stunned. These are Sonner, Sinner, Sonner. C-I-N-E-R. Um, they do have some light wear. But, you know, we're looking at about at least $25 for these. At least maybe $40. They were 50 cents. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, let me know what you liked. If you made it this far, because this was long. <laughs> um, again, I've got jewelry hauls coming up. I'm going to start in the new year. Something different with tackling my death pile. <laughs> um, not that I ever want to get rid of my death pile. Because that death pile came in handy in 2020. All right. If you saw anything you liked. You know, you can email me at blingadingding01 at gmail.com. It's down in the description box below. <laughs> yeah. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you next time. Bye.